know there you go, start another fire. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies and TV shows coming to streaming November 2020. Shut up. He's still in their family. You think they know you're lying? You are proof that there are fools! Fools, 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 fools! For this list, we're looking at the most exciting content coming to the various streaming services in November 2020. Which of these are you most excited to watch? Sound off in the comments. Number 10. We Are The Champions, coming to Netflix November 17, 2020. There's just something compelling about watching people give it their all to be the best at what they do. Passionate people make for interesting subjects. It's for that reason that documentary series like Cheer managed to attract a massive audience, including viewers who aren't generally interested in competitive cheerleading. There's a constant push for it to create that kind of moment of, oh, wow, I can't believe they just did that. Well, Rain Wilson, best known as Dwight Schrute from The Office, and Netflix have teamed up to take it a step further. No need to thank me. I am not a hero. I am a mere defender of the office. We Are the Champions is a series that chronicles various strange and unconventional competitions from across the globe, and the people committed to winning them. Covering subjects like cheese rolling and frog jumping, this series is in a class of its own. Number 9. Mosul, coming to Netflix November 26, 2020. I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a part of a city that was so pulverized. It, it was very reminiscent of, of images of the Second World War, of, of Stalingrad, of, of Hamburg, Coventry, you know, completely blown apart. Produced by the MCU's Russo brothers, Mosul is an action war drama set in Iraq. Originally intended for a theatrical release, the film, like so many others, has had its release strategy changed as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and is instead going the Netflix route. Based on a true story, it follows Nineveh SWAT team, a group that famously went to war against ISIS to protect their hometown of Mosul. It promises to be a tense, thrilling, and timely exploration of the lengths to which people will go to push back against tyranny and terror. Because of the level of bloodshed, the level of trauma, I don't think peace will come easily. It's not about liberating a land, it's not about capturing or defeating ISIS, it's about how much hatred there exists in the society. In the director's chair is Matthew Carnahan, who had previously worked as a screenwriter on films like 21 Bridges and World War Z. How do we know they're coming? They're coming. Number 8. Fireball – Visitors from Darker Worlds, coming to Apple TV Plus, November 13, 2020. Throughout history, meteorites have captivated human imagination. There are documentaries, and then there are Werner Herzog documentaries. In the past, this eccentric German filmmaker has taken us up close and personal with everything from grizzly bears to volcanoes. In this most recent doc, Herzog reunites with his Into the Inferno co-director Clive Oppenheimer to investigate meteors. Each one of these stones from darker worlds has its own story. The documentary approaches these celestial objects from a variety of perspectives, both scientific and mythological. As the filmmakers travel the globe in search of insight, they speak with experts, ponder the cosmos, and get up close and personal with meteors both ancient and newly arrived on Earth. Our voyage took us to wherever large fireballs had plunged down to Earth. It's a very special place for us. That's where we feel the presence of our ancestors. Herzog never takes the conventional route, so this is sure to be a fascinating viewing experience. Number 7. Happiest Season coming to Hulu November 25, 2020. While it generally prioritizes new episodes of current shows, Hulu has nonetheless managed to accrue an impressive library of original programming. Go back! In November 2020, the streaming service has the honor of premiering Clea Duvall's star-studded new holiday film, Happiest Season. It was originally slated for a theatrical release by Sony, but it's now going the Hulu route in the U.S. The film boasts an impressive ensemble cast including Kristen Stewart, Mackenzie Davis, Alison Brie, Aubrey Plaza, Dan Levy, and many more. I'm obsessed with this. The film follows Abby, a young woman who plans to propose to her girlfriend Harper in front of family over the holidays. The only problem? Harper's parents don't know she's gay. Promising to be timely, funny, and heartfelt, it could just be a new Christmas classic. Number 6. 
Rick and Morty Season 4, coming to Hulu November 1, 2020. The highly anticipated fourth season of Rick and Morty was released over the course of late 2019 and into May 2020. Given that this isn't new content, you may be asking what all the hype is about. Sorry, Dad. Oh, don't be sorry, sweetie. We're all in this together. Well, as any of the show's countless diehard fans will tell you, Rick and Morty is not the sort of show you just watch once. The show is so comically and thematically dense that serious fans often re-watch episodes multiple times. Sounds like a win-win to me. Come again? With so many interconnected plot threads, throwbacks, and heady sci-fi concepts in the mix, this show has spawned many, many fan theories. You know, this is great source material for this heist movie that I'm writing. Don't get drawn into the culture, Morty. All that to say, season four being added to Hulu in its entirety is very welcome news. Let the great rewatch begin. Number 5. The Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, coming to Disney Plus November 17, 2020. Non-theatrical Lego movies don't typically generate a whole lot of hype. Between TV specials, direct-to-video, and short films, there have been dozens of them released over the last two decades, covering everything from Bionicle and Scooby-Doo to Jurassic World and various DC heroes. I love it when a plan comes together. A Star Wars holiday special, however, feels, well, special. First and foremost, it's a throwback to the Star Wars holiday special that was released back in 1978. Though it's been mocked for decades, the popularity of Star Wars is such that even a misfire generates nostalgia. Just one more round, friend, then a homeward bound, friend, don't forget me in your dreams. And by going the Lego route, this throwback feels appropriately lighthearted. Set after the events of The Rise of Skywalker, it will follow Rey on a holiday-themed journey through key moments of Star Wars history. Number 4. His Dark Materials Season 2 Premiere, coming to HBO Max, November 16, 2020. This is the second major attempt to adapt Philip Pullman's highly influential trilogy. We must take control of this new world. Find the child. She's in another world entirely. Thankfully, unlike the 2007 film, HBO's His Dark Materials knows how to stick the landing. Tell me what you know. The first season was met with generally strong reviews, with critics praising the production value and the performances of the show's star-studded cast. This truly feels like Lyra Balakwa's world brought to life as described in Pullman's novels. Where the show stumbled, however, at times was in terms of its pacing, which we hope to see resolved in the second season. Stop this threat. Sacrifice. Whatever is necessary. Either way, it'll be a pleasure to return to this magical and dangerous world. Of course, it doesn't hurt that the Season 2 cast is even more impressive. The greatest war that ever was is coming. Number 3. Hillbilly Elegy, coming to Netflix November 24, 2020. There are few actors of her generation that can compete with Amy Adams, be it in terms of filmography or raw talent. I've been doing real good. I just had a down month. But. Pair her with living legend Glenn Close in a film based on a true story, and you've got a real Oscar contender on your hands. Hillbilly Elegy is based on the 2016 best-selling memoir of J.D. Vance. Do you actually want to be dead, Mom? Or are you just too lazy to try? Jay oh, I tried! Plenty! The film is an intimate and heartbreaking look at family, addiction, and the pursuit of the American dream in the Appalachians. From the looks of the trailer, Adams and Close are both in fine form. Some point. You're gonna have to take responsibility, or someone else what? is gonna have to step in. Who? Ha who? You? Oh, and as if we didn't have enough reasons to be excited about this release, it's directed by Ron Howard, who really knows his way around a true story. And that's it. He just puts Sir Isaac Newton in the driver's seat. Number two, The Crown season four, coming to Netflix November 15th, 2020. Yeah is the stuff of which fairy tales are made. Excuse the pun, but this series really is one of the crowning jewels in Netflix's catalog of original programming. Massive in scope and budget, the historical drama series traces the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, beginning around the time of her wedding to Prince Philip. Season 4 sees the incomparable Olivia Colman return in her lead role as the Queen, and will cover the events that occurred between 1977 and 1990. 
Fans are especially excited to see the introduction of Princess Diana and her two sons, Princess Harry and William. Our faith sees the wedding day not as the place of arrival, but the place where the adventure really begins. This season will cover the wedding of Diana and Charles, the Falklands War, and many other memorable historic moments in the life of the Queen. After three solid seasons, we have the highest hopes going into season four. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Dawson's Creek, coming to Netflix November 1st, 2020. Seize this opportunity, Dawson. Seize it. It'll be gone in a moment. And that's life. Fruitvale Station, coming to Netflix November 12th, 2020. We good, bro. We good, bro. They can hold us as long as we want, but they can't arrest us. We ain't do shit. V for Vendetta, coming to Netflix November 15th, 2020. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Between the World and Me, coming to HBO Max, November 21st, 2020. Uncle Frank, coming to Prime Video, November 25th, 2020. Frank, don't tell me you were coming. That's because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, well, okay, this is gonna be very exciting. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Animaniacs Revival, coming to Hulu November 20th, 2020. Here's your check for the Animaniacs reboot, you sellouts. They're Animani, totally insane but don't let the baloney in their slacks fool you. The Animaniacs are exactly what 2020 needs. Sometimes you've got to fight crazy times with even crazier characters. 22 years later and I'm still a knockout. And Yakko, Wacko, and Dot are just about the most lovable, over-the-top goofballs to ever grace the small screen. In 2020, they're being given a new platform for their antics courtesy of Hulu. And they've brought along all their usual accomplices, including Pinky and the Brain. Gee, Brain, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. <laughs> The critically acclaimed, wildly creative original series ended in 1998, but now, 22 years later, Animaniacs is back and ready to tackle contemporary subjects with their trademark zaniness. Quantum mechanics, quinoa wraps, Queen Bay, we've missed so much! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.